but there's lots of break exercises you can do even with that did you do just sort of going along like, or sitting on a bus or in your car and break it down I, I'm very interested in whether you can circular breathe on a harmonica I don't know I've never tried and the yeah. thing is with a didgeridoo, you're getting a certain amount of what we call back pressure. When you blow, the air's not going whoosh, straight away. So you've got this thing where you can do the spit sniff and then come back to equalise the pressure again. Now, harmonica, I think, because the reed plate's very open, my feeling is, I'd love to try it, but the air's going away too fast. No, you can do it. You can do it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. There's enough resistance. All right. <coughs> I mean, it, it pulls up some other things because obviously a, a great part of what harmonica is about is getting notes on, on the draw. Cool. So then, you know, maybe you don't want to circuit breathe, but as a technique, maybe to hold a sustaining note, or yeah. as a special technique, maybe. Uh, Pat Missin does circular breathing on the in breath, on the harmonica. Crikey! Now there's. A but <laughs> then he's a nutter, so. He is. Yeah. Well, he's I mean, a collector, I isn't he? I he is. Put amongst the nutters, but. Uh, but sometimes it's useful to sustain a note. <laughs> well, sometimes yeah, we play yeah, with just yeah. using. Sometimes we just play with using only the cheek air, Johnny. Sometimes. Well, I, I've taken this technique on to, I, I'm, I'm, my main thing is wind. Um, usually it's something I can blow down, with the exception of the harmonica, because I've not got to go to that yet. So I've had my eyes open to the possibilities that, that this has been very good. Um, these are something I'm breaking on, uh, for lots of reasons. This is um, called an overtone flute, or a harmonic flute. As you can see, there's a, there's a sound hole, there's a fiddle here, um, which is accessed by this little cut there. So it's a blown fiddle flute. Blurred on these, but there are no turn holes at all, just one end hole. Basically, the strength of the breath is what takes you through what is the harmonic scale on these. So they're very easy. So I, I like using these for kids or, or people of any age that have been told they're not musical uh, or got that block to, to musical creativity because most people can, can go, you know, uh, or get the idea of spitting a pip out, you know, tonguing kind of, t -t 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 -t. And, and it doesn't take much then to get someone to go t -t -t and blow softly or t -t 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 and, and blow with more force. And that's what makes a scale. So I've got an open-throated blow. I've got a lower note. It's like, like an ascending. Get an ascending scale. And then if I alternate with open-closed, Five, ten minutes of nooting around with this.